All right, so I'm out of Miss, uh, Mr. Nick Farrell's house, and I'm at the top of his stairs. You look down there, you can see the front door. We're looking at changing out the units up here, either changing them out one by one, or getting one big unit to cool this upstairs space. So I'm gonna walk you through this. So you hit the top of the stairs, you take a left into this bedroom. You got the thermostat here on the wall. This thermostat controls only this room. All right. Now back across this side, you got the unit that controls the hallway, which is a vent down there, a vent here. I'm assuming there's a vent in this bathroom. Yep, there's a vent there. And then it controls this room over here. Two vents in here. Return for this side of the house is in this room. Return for that room over there is in the hallway. All right, so that's that. Oh, the thermostat in here. Divers tech, but there it is, it's in this room. So you just gotta split half and half. All right, so back in this room here. Way to get into the attic. Come through here. Into this space. You can't really see this flashlight on this phone. But over here, you got a ladder, and just boards mounted on here. So I'm about to climb up here, the unit's up top. So I just made it up to the top, just climb that peg ladder. Here is the unit that runs only the room uh, with the crappy thermostat in it. So it's a two, it's a two ton unit. We get him a new drain pan, new float switch. Vacuum out this uh, drain line. We do it. Yeah, new drain pan, new float switch, flush the copper. Um, you see the return. Thumbs up and over. It's a good size. It's about 14, I think. Runs down over there. And then the vents coming off from right here. The two ton, the one I was just showing you, I'm looking at it from the other side now. So this actually got three vents. Two vents in the room over there that I told you it was in. And then the vent down um, on the far end of the hallway. So three vents coming off of that one and then a return there. And then the vents that are coming off this other unit. Well, hold on, let me, before I get over there, we'll measure this unit for you. It's 22 inches deep. 14 inches wide, 42 inches long. There's the, uh, the disconnect. All right, directly behind this this unit, it's the other unit. It's a three ton. It's a little bit newer looking. Copper lines are running out. They go the same way that uh, the other one does. Get them a new drain pan. New float switch, the drain line goes out, follows the copper lines. That way. The return on this one, it's hard pipe. drop straight down into where that uh, that other unit is, or where I showed you the vent. Here's the disconnect box. Secondary drain lines running out that way. So I see one, one, two, three, four. Four vents coming off of this three ton. And the insulation up in here is not very good at all. Um, we're gonna need to 
here put at least some R19 in here. You can see almost a, it's almost like just wood up here. Sheet metal trunk line on this side. Four drops over there, three drops over there. Three ton and a two ton. Alright, so I'm standing here at the condensers now. The road's up front. If you're looking at the house from the road, then it's I'm on the left side of the house. You come around and there's a gate right there. And then you got the two condensers over here. Um, the line sets are running down the house and then along the ground. You see them running up there. So you can replace these line sets little big line set cover of them or two small line set covers and then run them back down here kind of like they are on the ground get all new copper so it won't leak this pad right here is in good shape we can reuse it just be the right size so we're thinking of replacing them with a five ton unit so we can get rid of this pad or give it to them or whatever we need to do and then we'll have one new weatherproof disconnect so we can disconnect one of these and um, what else? That's about it, I think. All right, so I'm in the backyard. I'm looking over here. Um, that's a gate that you can drive into. So you can back in here. Don't hit the gazebo. The units are up here on the right side of the house from the back. And you can back right up there. And uh, that's where, it's kind of where they are. It'd be the easiest place for you to work with, probably as far as the condensers go. They're up in there. All right, so I'm back over here by the condensers I'm on the other side of this gas pack, looking at the breaker panel here. And none of it's labeled, so that's gonna be a fun game since we have all these air conditioners and everything. But uh, there's the panel. Two hundred coming in this one. 